Here at Ad Week, we love brand mascots. So for this year's Women's History Month, we've decided to put a spotlight on some iconic women mascots who you're sure to recognize. Morton Salt began in 1848, but it would take another 60 years for the company to introduce its iconic brand mascot. In 1914, the company tapped advertising agency N.W. Ayer & Son for its first national campaign. The Morton Salt Girl was actually the agency's backup idea. The premise was simple a little girl walking through the rain while pouring a canister of Morton salt. At the time, this was a big deal because salt would clump in humid conditions, such as the one depicted in the ad. But Morton salt had created the first free-flowing salt in 1911 by adding an anti-caking agent to its product. Over the course of the next 100 years, the Morton Salt Girl went through six design updates. In 1921, her hair went from being curly blonde to straight brown. In 1933, she adopted Shirley Temple's classic curly-haired look. In 1941, she received her classic yellow dress, and in 1956, her yellow umbrella was added. By 1968, her yellow dress got a modern update and her carefree gaze was instituted. The Morton Salt Girl got a sleek new look for her 100th birthday in 2014. If you've ever enjoyed a little red box of raisins, chances are you're familiar with Sunmade and the Sunmade Girl. The company was founded in 1912 as the California Associated Raisin Company. But by 1922, the company changed its name to Sunmade and added the Sunmade Girl to its packaging. Based on model Lorraine Collette, the Sunmade Girl originally wore a blue bonnet, which was changed to a red bonnet when a Sunmade executive said red would reflect the sun better. The rest, as they say, is history. The Sunmade Girl was given an update in 1923. She was given a bigger smile, brighter colors, and a stylized sun background. In 1956, the logo was updated again, making the shining sun background off-center, which cast a shadow on her face. In 1970, the logo got another makeover, this time using brighter colors and printing the company name in yellow. To celebrate her 90th birthday in 2006, the Sunmade Girl was animated and featured in television commercials and on the company's website. Grapes and Sunshine. The logo's most recent update came in 2020 when the sun-made girl was refined and the yellow outline of the sun was removed to accentuate its race. Chances are you've seen and even heard Miss Chiquita, the brand mascot of Chiquita Brands International, known as United Fruit Company when it created its mascot. Miss Chiquita was created by cartoonist Dick Brown, who was also the creator of comic series Hagar the Horrible. While the company was founded in 1899, Miss Chiquita was not created until 1944. Miss Chiquita was an anthropomorphic banana who wore a dress and signature fruit hat, the latter of which was based on Brazilian singer and actress Carmen Miranda's recognizable Tutti Frutti hat. Miss Chiquita served as the brand's resident expert on bananas, teaching consumers how to eat and prepare the fruit. You're most digestible, my friend. Delicious too from end to end. Perhaps even more iconic than Miss Chiquita herself was the brand's jingle, originally sung by pop singer Patty Clayton. I'm Chiquita Banana and I've come to say bananas have to ripen in a certain way. Since 1963, Miss Chiquita has been featured on the famous blue stickers that adorn the company's product. In 1987, Miss Chiquita was redesigned by Oscar Grillo, the creator of the Pink Panther. She kept the dress and fruit hat, but was transformed into a woman. At 78, she remains one of the most recognizable brand mascots of our time. Although M&Ms have been around since 1945, their iconic spokes candy mascots were not introduced until 1954, which were initially only the yellow and red talking candies. Green, the first female M&M spokes candy, was not introduced until 1998. <laughs> I don't do commercials. The second female spokes candy, Brown, debuted during the 2012 Super Bowl. My shell is brown. It just looks like my milk chocolate is showing. Earlier this year, Mars Wrigley announced that its famous spokes candies would be redesigned to be more inclusive, which meant that Green was trading in her knee-high boots for a pair of casual sneakers, while Brown would sport a new pair of glasses and block heels instead of high stilettos. Finally, Flo from Progressive has become one of the most successful brand mascots in the modern era. In the mid-2000s, Progressive was a relatively unknown brand in the insurance space. In a partnership with agency Arnold Worldwide, Progressive debuted Flow, 
in January 2008. You know, that comes with concierge claim service, local response claim service. Flo, played by Stephanie Courtney, has been featured in dozens of ads since her debut, even inspiring an entire cast of progressive insurance employees who are regularly featured in the brand spots. She even has her own character Twitter account. And the real key to knowing you've made it as a mascot when you've spawned a series of ads based on your character's extended family. Sleeping baby.